Hey guys, this is Open Source Fiend, and today I'm going to show you how to install League of Legends in Linux. So, for starters, I say props to Reddit user the dreaded Andy for making this kick-ass guide to do the installation. Now, this installation guide that he made was fine, and I was able to uh, to get Linux installed with it. However, um, I prefer to use Play on Linux because it gives a, it sets up a virtual environment for every Windows application you want to install in Linux. Um, whereas his instructions have you overwrite your system's default Wine version, uh, but Play on Linux manages Wine versions and gives you virtual environments for each program, so I'd prefer to use it. So, uh, this video, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. So, first thing you're going to need is play on Linux. Uh, you don't have to worry about Wine or anything like that yet. So, I already have it installed, but if you don't, you're going to want to do sudo apt-get install play on Linux. And I'll auto-complete for you just to confirm that it works. There we go. Okay, so I have 4.2.10 installed. Uh, as long as you're in the 4s, probably doesn't matter. Uh, the more important thing is the Wine version, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. Get out of here. So, bring up Play on Linux. So as you can see, I have already installed League of Legends for myself, uh, but we're going to do it in a completely new environment, so... Uh, don't worry about that, I'll show you how to do it. So, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is we can't actually install a program yet. So normally you might want to do install a program, install a non-listed program, and then find uh, a particular EXE somewhere on your computer and install it that way. But we can't do that here, at least not yet, because um, League of Legends has a few dependencies that we're going to have to install first. So I'll cancel that. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to Tools, Manage Wine Versions, and you're going to need to make sure that you have 2.8 staging over here on the right hand side in the Install the Wine Versions. Make sure you're on the tab for the 32-bit Wine Versions, which is x86. If you're in AMD 64, it, don't bother installing that. Go to the 32-bit, the x86 tab, and install 2.8 staging. So I've already got it installed. Um, at the time that I recorded this, that's the latest one that's available. So you can pretend this said 2.8 staging. You'd click this arrow. You'd wait for it to, to download and install. And then it would be over here, and you're good to go. So I'll close that. Alright, next thing we have to do is set up a virtual drive for our new League of Legends installation. So I'm going to go to configure, big configure button right there, and that's going to bring up my virtual drives. So I've already got a few in here, um, including my League of Legends one, but we, we want to start fresh. So at the bottom there, click new, All right, click next. So we want a 32-bit installation. And it's going to have us pick our version of Wine. We want 2.8 staging. And we're going to call this virtual drive LOL2. You can call it whatever you want. I called my original one LOL. All right, you'll see Wine's doing its thing here. Okay, so now, uh, I'm still on LOL, be careful. Go to the one that you just created, so now I'm in LOL 2. Uh, confirm you got 2.8 staging here. Uh, let's hit Configure Wine just to confirm that it's set up, and indeed, here it is. So, cancel that. Now, what we're going to have to do is 
follow the steps that Andy gave us for installing the dependencies for uh, that law that League of Legends needs to run. So we're going to skip the stuff about installing Wine because we've actually already done all that. Um, but we are going to need Wine Tricks. So Wine Tricks just lets us install some things in a more reliable way. So I'm going to copy this command here and we'll go to this one. Now the way that uh, the way that Andy's script here or uh, instructions are written, normally you'd want to go to the terminal and do this, and you could uh, you could use some prefixes that he's got set up or that he's got uh, written out here. But for us, not config version. For us, that's not going to work because we need Wine 2.8, but we're only in Wine 1.6.2 on the on Linux on our system. Exit that. But Play on Linux gives us a handy little shortcut here where now we have a terminal that knows which Wine version we want it to be using. So Play on Linux sets something up when it opens this terminal that makes the default Wine use the one that we had set up earlier. And maybe if I did run which Wine uh-huh. So, we can confirm that it is, in fact, using the one that we want in 2.8 staging. If I just open up a regular terminal... Yeah, this is the system version of Wine, and then this is the version of Wine that we want for this particular virtual environment. So, we're good to go. So, we're in drive C on this, uh, in this virtual environment. So the Windows drive C, so that's good. Uh, we need wine tricks. So paste in the command uh, to, to download wine tricks. There we go, we have it now. Now we're in, a, we're in a Linux shell, we're not in, this is a Linux terminal, this is not a Windows terminal, so we have access to all of the regular Linux command which we're going to need. The very next one that we need is this chmod so put that in there now we see it's a different color and it has the X flag on it which means it's executable so we can actually run it so uh, when we run so here's the wine tricks um, command that we need to run since we're in this special play on Linux terminal we don't have to use the prefixes and in fact you wouldn't want to that would that would mess this up so we're just gonna run wine tricks to install these two dependencies DirectX and I think the visual C++ runtime from 2015 go ahead and run that okay I agree install looking good close all right we have a, an error about a cab extract here um, let's see what we've got here all right now Windows XP, that was one of the settings that we were that we were gonna have to set ourselves, but I think Wine Tricks set it for us with the VC run twenty fifteen. Uh let's take a look at graphics. Well, let's take a look at libraries, make sure that we have DirectX 3D. Okay. Uh or uh Direct 3D, Direct X9. Uh that is not in here. If it were, we would see an existing override. Uh so that error is legitimate. Let's try running it one more time. I don't think it's going to work though. Yeah. We'll try an underscore 43. Oh, that didn't work either. All right. We're done with this terminal now. So we need to get DirectX installed. Uh, thankfully, I don't know why Wine Tricks doesn't work, but I know that Play on Linux has it as an installable component. So. There it is, D3DX9, and just the latest one, which for me is 43. 
So we'll install that. Okay, it's finished, even though you can't really tell. So let's go back to the wine configuration. And we're still on Windows XP. But now we have this Direct3D DirectX 9 uh, override, which is good. That's what we want. So continuing to follow Andy's steps, uh, it says that we need to get rid of all but four of the overrides. So we'll get rid of everything up to DirectX. Uh, we need MSVCP, we don't need MSVCR, we don't need UCRT base, we do need VComp, and we do need VC runtime. Okay, so those are all set. For graphics, we want to capture the mouse while we're playing the game, and we want to emulate a virtual desktop. So I already know that I'm that I have a 1080p monitor, uh, so my dimensions are going to be 1920 by 1080. Yours might be different. I'm going to run the display program here and display will tell me what my resolution is. You want to set it to that. So I've already done that so I can close this. And that's it for the graphics tab. Uh, staging lets us know we did it right and we want this enable CSMT and that's it. So hit OK. Alright, so our environment should now be configured. Uh, we shouldn't have to do anything else to set it up to get League to install. So the next step is installing League. Uh, we don't need to be here anymore, so I can close this. I'm going to go back to play on Linux. And remember, this is the one that I already set up. That's not the one that we're using. So what we want to do is run install a program. So we want to, at the bottom here, install a non-listed program. Click on that. All right. And we want to edit or update an existing application. Now, to me, it should say or virtual drive, editor update an existing application or virtual drive, because we have already created our virtual drive. Uh, so we don't want to install it in a new one. We want to install it in an existing one. Click next. Um, these are the programs that I have already installed. You want to show virtual drives and you want to pick the one that you had created. For me, that's LOL2. Hit next. Um, we don't need to set another version of Wine because we've already done that. We don't need to configure Wine because we've already done that. We don't need to install any libraries because we've already done that. Hit Next. 32-bit. And now we just need to get the file that we need to run. And we want the one that we downloaded earlier. Um, that is going to come from <clears throat> the first comment says that this particular uh, downloader didn't work for this person. It doesn't work for me either. But the one from archive.org works. Click on that. And there it is. So that's the one that you want. And we'll come back over here. League of Legends, base NA. We're going to open that. Hit next. Okay, and this blue screen indicates that you're, I mean, this is the virtual desktop, and it fills my entire screen. So we got that configuration right. Uh, and this installer uh, looks pretty promising. So we'll hit next. I accept. Next. Complete. Complete installation. I don't know about custom. Maybe you could do it, but I'm going to do complete. And finally, install. All right, we do not want to launch. Be sure to uncheck that. Otherwise, Play on Linux can't do everything it needs to do. Hit Finish. And it's going to take a few seconds for League of Legends to finish doing whatever it is it's doing, or for Play on Linux to recognize that the application is done installing.
Okay, there we go. All right, and we want to create a shortcut out of the lol.launcher.exe. Click next, name this whatever you want. Oop. Hit next. Okay, now you don't really have any indication that that worked, but minimize that. There it is. This is the one that we just created. So that's all we need from here. I don't want to make another shortcut. Click next. All right, ready to rock. So you're going to run and run this. Now, while this is loading, I'll tell you, I did attempt to do this without the virtual desktop. Once this finishes loading, you'll see the window, the standard client window that you'd expect to see. Here, I'll hit accept. And you can move it around. So you can install this without the virtual desktop. The only issue that I found with it is that uh, I have two monitors, and typically I want the uh, I, typically I want my game on the second monitor not the first so if you don't have the virtual desktop uh, configured in wine it's it's not as easy to transfer the game between monitors so right now I can transfer it back and forth if I want to um, you know normally you just leave it on one but when it first opens, it's going to open on your first monitor, at least, or at least it does for me. Um, and the sh the shift, Windows key, and arrows don't work, or at least they didn't work for me when I wasn't running it with the virtual desktop enabled. So um, you can do it. I was able to get the game to work, um, but I like to be able to switch between the monitors, so I kept the virtual the virtual desktop setup. So anyway, uh, we're going to let this finish and once once we're done here, we'll come back and finish. Uh, we'll make sure that this actually runs. Alright, so the League of Legends client did its first update. So let's launch this. And if we did everything right, we should get the login screen. So for certain things like startup and when the game ends, you do have to be patient. Uh, it does take a lot longer for things to load. It is also possible that I messed this installation up. Yeah, that's taking too long. Hit Alt F4 to kill it. Terminate the process. Alright. Let's run it one more time. Usually you'll get the bug splat, but I didn't get it that time.
Okay. So it did work. We just had to kill it the first time. I'm not sure why. Alright, so we'll accept this. Okay. Turn the music off just for this video. And you can see that it's running some kind of update right now. And that update, unlike the very f the first one that we just went through, this update takes a long time. I think it took me... I think it took an hour or two. Got, s got really slow right around 43% or something like that. Alright, but if we've gotten this far, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. So remember when it, it got stuck earlier? I mean, you could try sitting there for 10 or 20 minutes, I don't know how long uh, it might take to load if you just let it go the first time. I thought it was taking too long, and to kill the process, I hit Alt F4. Um, and then I just restarted. And what I mean by restarted is, I just click this, and I hit Run after I'd killed it in the background. Okay, so now we have to let this thing uh, finish downloading, and this is going to take a long time. It says the ETA is 25 minutes. It's going to take at least triple that. So uh, we'll come back when this is finished. All right, guys. Uh, it's at about 94% right now. Um, this it's been over two hours. Uh, so, when you get to the point where, um, where the client is, has updated itself initially, and then you log in, and then it's got to update itself again, expect to, expect to be sitting around for a few hours, so you might want to go do something else. Anyway, um, so now, the client has completely updated itself, and we should be good to go, so I'm going to go ahead and try... Um, Andy's guide recommends that you start just with a bot game. So I'm going to do a create custom, and those are fine. So just to make sure it actually works, I'm only going to add one bot. We'll start with that. Warwick. All right, we're off to a good start. We've got the versus loading screen. Now, keep in mind, uh, the loading screen, I've noticed that the loading screens take a little longer and the game exit screen takes a little longer. Usually, I mean, usually it's not too bad. Maybe I don't know, six or ten seconds tops. All right, so there we go. Uh, game's up and running. Looks like it's lagging a bit. That is not just YouTube's encoding. It is definitely lagging. Definitely not smooth. Now, don't worry, we're going to fix that in a second here. But um, at this point, we've proven that the game is capable of running under Linux. Now, whether or not you'd actually want to play it when it looks this choppy is a different story. Uh, I know I wouldn't. <clears throat> and there's not even any enemies on screen, and it's already this choppy. So, uh, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, in case you're curious... The resolution defaults to 1920 by 1080, or in my case it does, I'm, I think it defaults to whatever you set the screen size to. Um, I still have mine in full screen, and if you remember my comment before, I, I'm able to swap monitors um, because I'm using the emulated desktop. Now, I only have these graphics at medium high right now. If I were to medium set them possible. all the way to very low, no, it's going to take a second for this to, to register. Even if I set them to very low, it's still going to be choppy. And it's, in my opinion, not really playable. I mean, yeah, you could play it, but 
things move quickly, and if you're not able to react, then, oh man, that looks strange. So, still choppy, despite being set to the lowest possible setting. Um, I could turn the resolution down, but I'm not going to bother doing that, because we're going we're gonna to fix this problem. So, I'm going to exit the game. <clears throat> and we'll close this. And once again, props to Andy for his excellent guide. Um, I believe he mentions that sometimes you can get bug splats, but uh, they don't. Uh, you don't have to worry about them because you'll still be able to play. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is open up. How do we do it? Configure. We're gonna open up a shell to this particular virtual machine or virtual environment I should say and let's go back to his guide uh, we're going to force it to use OpenGL so and looking through the comments uh, it looks like it's mixed as to whether or not the DirectX or OpenGL is better but you saw how choppy mine was um, when the defaults are used, which the default is uh, DirectX. So we're going to use OpenGL instead. Um, we have to open up a particular file in this virtual environment. So remember we're in a Linux terminal here. So let's do nano. And then we're already in the C drive, so Riot Games, League of Legends, Config, and Game. Now, if you're curious as to why we didn't do this to start with, it's because um, this file doesn't actually exist right after you install the game. Uh, I think there's a note that Andy puts in here about this uh, not being able to do this until you run the game once. Um, whether or not that's true, I didn't test it uh, that thoroughly. I just know that after you try it once and it's choppy, now it exists and now we can do what we need to do. So, let's see. We need to add, <coughs> excuse me, X3D. Well, I'll just copy and paste it. X3D platform equals one. All right, do that. Um, if you were following me and you choose to use Nano, um, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Nano, I rushed through that. So it's not like Vim, you don't have to do any special, you don't have to hit I to make it, uh, to be able to type. You just hit enter and you type in whatever you want. In my case, I copied and pasted. <clears throat> when you're done, I hit Control X, so you see that down here. I hit Control X to exit. And it asks me if I want if I want to save it. I hit the Y key, and then it prompts me to enter a file name. I don't want to change the file name, so I just hit Enter, and boom. So that was once you're done typing, Control X, Y, Enter. All right. So now that that's done, uh, we should just be able to launch it, and it shouldn't be choppy. So we don't need that anymore. League of Legends, run. Launch. Okay, so it's letting me know this, I think, because it, it detects uh, low specs, but I don't have a problem here with this animation. This this is not choppy. It wasn't with DirectX either, but it's certainly not with OpenGL, so I'm going to leave that playing because I like seeing the animation. So. Okay, still good, no crashes. 
Sometimes you will get bug splats even when the game is loading. Um, if you watch any of the um, game footage that I have yet to post, uh, you'll see sometimes I do get bug splats, but you just click don't send and the game continues to load. So, we're going to play. Um, I'm not going to do a real one because I don't want to get penalized for it. So we'll create a custom and... I am confident that this is going to be smoother. So we'll do five bots. So for some reason, even though this is just running locally on my own machine, and all of the bots load immediately, uh, it still takes a while for my character to load. That was maybe 15 seconds. Alright, I'm in. Now I can already tell that it's running fast. Oh yeah, that's smooth. But we have the graphics set to as low as they will go. So let's set them as high as they will go. Um, I have a GeForce GTX 1080, so that is definitely not a low-end or middle-of-the-road uh, video card. I don't. It's definitely. It's not the the newest or the highest end anymore, but it was pretty high end when I bought it. So it should be capable of running a game like League of Legends at very high, and you'll see that it is. All right. Wait till she's ready. Okay, there we go. And now that is smooth. No question about it. Animations look good. Detail looks good. Alright, awesome. And uh, that's how... That is how you get League of Legends working in Linux. Um, like I said, props to the dreaded Andy on Reddit for putting together the updated guide. <clears throat> and I uh, hope you guys find this useful. So if you're still here, I wanted to show you how long it takes to exit a game. Uh, I did not get a bug splat that time, which is good. But you saw how long that took. Not terribly long, but definitely longer than a standard Windows installation. Oh, there's a bug splat, but it doesn't matter. We'll be able to start it back up again when we're ready. So, that's it. Uh, links will be in the description, and thanks for watching.